Registered Phenomena Code 033 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Types Mechanical Hazard Sapient Hazard Containment Protocols All devices containing instances of RPC-033 are to be stored in a Beta-class storage vault at Site-004. Authority webcrawlers have been established for the purpose of searching for online application stores for instances of RPC-033. Located instances are to be taken down from these sites. Downloads of RPC-033 are to be tracked, and devices containing RPC-033 are to be confiscated. Description. RPC-033 is a downloadable smart device application titled Your Inner AI. RPC-033 appears on various online application stores for platforms developed by companies including Apple, Android, and RPC-033 is often bought unknowingly by users, appearing as a different application and advertised, often appearing as an, at the time, highly popular or frequently downloaded application. Upon opening RPC-033, a yes or no option will be displayed, along with a message reading, everything you don't do from here on will be of your own doing. Accept? Selecting yes will grant the user access to RPC-033. RPC-033 cannot be deleted by regular means once this has been selected. Whenever RPC-033 is accessed from this point onward, it will display a 3D human avatar RPC-033-1 on a black backdrop cut from the waist down. RPC-033-1 is an animated, albeit poorly rendered 3D avatar of an existing individual the user is associated with, often a close relative of the individual usually a parent or child. Instances of RPC-033-1 are commonly limited to individuals who have procured an online presence over a lengthy amount of time, often over ten years, whether it be through their own doing or through the social networking of others. Instances have shown to be fully aware of their surrounding environment and are incapable of leaving the confines of the display screen. RPC-033-1 instances behave almost identically to the individual they are based on, and display almost indistinguishable physical mannerisms. Physiological comparison between instances and the respected person they are based on have proven RPC-033-1 instances to physiologically match the subject by at least 89%. As well as this, instances have expressed explicit knowledge known by the individual. While communication with instances through RPC-033's interface is not possible, frequent users of RPC-033 will often see RPC-033-1 as being near indistinguishable from the actual person. RPC-033 functions similarly to a virtual pet simulator, requiring the user to perform such activities as feeding, cleaning, and other general care needs for RPC-033-1. The nature of these activities is known to be severely upsetting for RPC-033-1, showing little care towards the instance's own comfort. While these actions are free to use, a set of alternative care options are available to use through the act of microtransactions. A full list of these actions can be found below. Feed. A large gray metallic appendage appears on screen and is inserted into RPC-033-1's mouth. The instance will be displayed as being fed an unidentifiable yellow slot from the appendage, as seen leaking out of its mouth. Regular feeding is required to prevent the instance from experiencing hunger symptoms. RPC-033-1 instances appear to universally dislike the taste of the slop. Clean. The display screen is shown to fill entirely with a watery substance with white flakes, presumably soap. The display will rapidly shake for 30 to 45 seconds causing the water to foam until draining itself, after which RPC-033-1 will appear drenched from the water before being dried off by a strong force of air from an unseen source off-screen. During this time a loud gurgling is audible from the direction of the air. Toilet. A loud churning noise is heard below off-screen. Failure to use this feature at least twice daily will result in RPC-033-1 showing great displeasure due to an unpleasant odor from below their waist. When these tasks are not performed on a regular basis, 
RPC-033-1 will display symptoms typical of individuals deprived of their basic needs, such as food and access to personal hygiene facilities, albeit exaggerated. In the event of RPC-033-1 not being taken care of regularly, resulting symptoms will exponentially worsen without the instance ever expiring. This will frequently result in RPC-033 sending push notifications to the user's smart device and all others linked to it. Notifications will update the user on RPC-033-1's condition, detailing the physical and emotional displeasure it is currently experiencing. These notifications appear to be written as an attempt to guilt the user into continuing to play RPC-033. Notifications often include variations of the phrases, he, she's alone in the dark, and they'll choke while you watch. If the user has taken sufficient care of RPC-033-1 for at least one week, a new feature will appear in-game titled Wrathful Fulfillment, which will activate approximately every six hours. This feature is an event in which the screen's view will zoom in on RPC-033-1's face, after which RPC-033-1 will begin to gag as if being strangled. This will appear to worsen as time progresses, causing increasing distress to RPC-033-1, although instances will not expire at any time. Deactivation of this feature may only be achieved by choosing to pay a microtransaction charge that will appear as a yes or no option during the event. This will cause the feature to cease for the time being, until six hours later, when it will appear again. RPC-033 screen view will return to normal after an event's conclusion, revealing RPC-033-1 to bear heavy constriction marks across its neck, limbs, and torso. Microtransaction charges will increase in price with each additional appearance of wrathful fulfillment. 